All right, what's going on traders? Got a review here of Earn the Trade. Now this is a sponsored video, but I am very selective when it comes to doing sponsorships or affiliate programs or any, just anything that I talk about on this channel. So if I can't keep it real, I'm not gonna talk about it, all right? So with all that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so when you go to earnatrade.com to the website, you'll come to this landing page right here. And Earn the Trade basically right now has three different programs that you can go through. And by the way, for anybody that doesn't know what Earn the Trade is, let me start there. This is a funded program or a prop firm to where if you can pass their evaluation, then you will be able to trade with their money, right? So, you know, it's, it's really simple, straightforward. You know, if you want to trade the futures market, this is specifically for the futures market. If you want to trade the futures market, you can go through the evaluation program. Then if you pass it and you can show that you can be profitable trading futures, then you can use their money to trade instead of using your own money, right? So once you, if you're interested in that, once you come to, and you probably are since you're watching this video, once you come to their website, this is the home screen. This is their main landing page. And you know, you can see they have three different programs that you can go through, as I mentioned before. Now, the first, probably the one that we're gonna spend the most time talking about is this Trader Career Path. And they also have the Gauntlet Mini, and then they have the Gauntlet. Now, my personal experience with them was I, I went through the Gauntlet Mini first, and I'm currently doing the Trader Career Path, right? So if you wanna know information about like what they have to offer and about their program, then I, you know, with anything period you should try to know as much about it as you can before you get into it right so they have a lot of information on here is one of the things that i like about earn the trade they have a lot of resources so one thing that you can do let's say you want to do the trader career path just go ahead and start now and then that'll take you to the landing page for the trader career path and you can see all of the requirements and what the process is you know i'm not going to assault your intelligence by you know reading what you can read for yourself but my main point and plus i don't want to just walk through and read everything and make this video longer than it has to be like you can read all this stuff for yourself i'm just here to give my take on it right so you know they got plenty of information they've got a video here lots of information here everything that you need to know and this is the how the career path works the trader career path works you start with a twenty-five thousand dollar account and then, you know, you have some things in there that you have to be aware of, like the end of day drawdown and your daily loss limit. You gotta make, those are very important. And um, yeah, I'll just talk more about that later. And then once you pass the evaluation, you know, that's where you'll start in your live SIM account, right? And then you can progress to a live account and then to a $50,000 account and then to a $100,000 account and to a $200,000 account, right? So. All the information is here. Just make sure you go through. If you're interested in doing the trader career path, just make sure you go through. You understand everything. You read all the questions. You go through the FAQs. If you need help, they got this little, um, what is this chat window down here where you can just chat help where you can reach out to somebody. And they have really good customer service. I mean, like when I've, I haven't needed to use their customer service that often, but when I needed to use it, the responses were like almost immediate. Like I've tried a few different funded programs and by far, in my opinion, Earn the Trade has the best support out of all the ones that I've, you know, participated in, right? So my whole point that I'm trying to make here is just to make sure you, you know everything that you need to know. I think one thing that's important to know and, and we'll see why a little bit later is this commissions. And I already have this pulled up in the tab here. And you should be aware of what their commission structure is, at least a rough, you know, have a rough idea of it so that you can keep track of that yourself. And I'll, I'll get, I'll touch back on that a little bit later once I'm logged into the actual dashboard, right? So if you want some more resources, they also have, if you click the drop down menu right here, you can see the different programs that they have. They also have a beginner's crash course. You can learn more about the, the company. They have a blog where they talk about a lot of different things. Let's get into that. And like, so they put something out very frequently here. I, I get a lot of emails about something, you know, a new blog or a new post that they, they post a lot. So a lot of good information here. Go through here and just, you know, see everything, get a, you know, get a feel for 
all the things that they talk about and the energy that they are putting out there right so let me go back to one more thing another place if you need to know more information they have the help feature down here most of the questions that you're going to have is going to be here right this is why i haven't needed to use their chat support that often because most of the information that i've needed to need us to know is right in here everything is here pretty much right so just go through here get all the information that you can once you're ready to sign up you're gonna go back to earn the trade and let's just say we want to sign up for the trader career path you go there you go to enroll now right now they have a discount on the trader career path and you know normally the normal price is supposed to be 150 but right now it's 90 so if you're interested in this this is a good time to take advantage of it and then so once you're ready to get started you just go ahead and start trading career you put all this, the discount code and jump in there by itself put all your information in all right so i'm not gonna open up a new account all right so let me log into my dashboard and then we can go a little bit deeper into my experience and some other key things that i want to point out all right so now that we're in the dashboard some things that i want to point out here is you have the lessons so if you're new to trading they have a lot of training here that you can go through and it's all included you don't have to pay anything extra for their training all of that is included once you just sign up for either either one of the funded programs you see i didn't go through a whole bunch of it you know i've been doing this for a while but the what i what i did go through it, you know it's some really good information so if you're new to trading or if you haven't been doing this for long i would definitely recommend that you go through their training they also have, have some extra guides in here that if you want to learn more about different things all kind of things that you could possibly want to know about i mean they've been building this for a while so you have plenty of resources here to where you know information lack of information should not be an issue for you if you're just signed up with earn a trade right and this is again this is something i've signed up with several a few different you know funded programs and this by far makes earn the trade stands out to me beyond being able to trade you know futures with their capital i mean in my personal opinion to be honest all this training here is worth the price of admission by itself a lot of people are charging thousands of dollars for this kind of information right so if i was brand new to trading and i wanted a good source to learn about trading i would honestly sign up for this and just take the training and while you're learning you can also trade at the same time and you're not risking your own money right you're still you only risk the money that you use to pay for the evaluation account right so i think i beat that horse enough so let's go ahead and keep moving forward and then you got this webinar section right again more information a lot of you know stuff to to learn about you have all kind of resources in here a lot of this stuff because you know really i just been trading so long i don't spend a whole lot of time going through this other stuff but you know they got the simulator here and then also with your account you get access to Finamark. so Finamark is a web-based training platform again i haven't really used this at all because i just have no need to use it i didn't even really test it out but if it, if you need it it's here right the other thing that's the main highlight for having an account with earn to trade is access to journalytics when I first opened the account, I was able to access it from here, but I've had this account for so long, I think that it doesn't work through here anymore. I don't know if it's just me or or what, but so you can just go to their website and then that uh, you can log in to the account that Earn to Trade gives you for journalytics, right? And you can track your progress and get your track your information here. So the account that I have now, I think there's a certain, I think you get full access if I remember correctly, you get full access for a specific amount of time. And then you will have access to the basic functionality of journalytics, right? So with this, you can get a good breakdown of all of your, you know, your trading. This is not my preferred software like this. I actually prefer TraderView. I stopped using TraderView because it had an issue with Sierra chart, but I'm not going to, that's, that's beyond what we're talking about in this video. And then it's also TradeViz, TradesViz. Let me see. What is it? Yeah, TradesViz as an alternative. This one breaks down the information so much more and it has more flexibility from what I've seen versus Journalytics. But anyway, Journalytics is still a good it's still a good app. The only issue I have with it is this commissions. So you see these numbers here and this is not accurate at all. So let me just go back. I think I started this TCP. Let's just go back as far as April. Cause it, it took a, it, it was a while, a moment where I kind of took a break and I was doing some other things. All right. 
So based off of how it's tracked here, and it's it's because of the commissions. The commissions are way too high. There's no way that I've had this much in commissions. I don't know. I've tried to look around like to where I could change that or whatever. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. I don't really need it because I can still track my progress in the earn a trade dashboard. But this is way off. And like I said, I don't really use this that often anyway. So that's just something to be aware of. The commissions could be off. If you're having the same issue, you could probably reach out to earn a trade and they can probably help you out with it. Or you can reach out to Jigsaw and they can help you out with it. But um, it's not that big of a deal for me because I really don't even use this. I only use this really for this, you know, to make this video. All right. So that's the journal lytics. All right. Heading on over to the evaluation tab. This is where you can get information about your progress. So one thing to be aware of is this could take, you know, some time to update accurately. Usually I see it after the close of the session for the day, right? So that's where I see the accurate update. I don't think this here has today's what I did. So I traded this morning and I don't think this is updated from what I did this morning. So again, it makes sense because, you know, in order to know if you pass or not, they're going to wait for the, this, that current day's session to close. And then, you know, they'll look at that number and they'll give it to you based off of your P and L at the end of the session, right? That's how most of these funded trading programs work, right? So this is the best place to see your progress because this is what, you know, this is in their system of what they're tracking. So if you have issues right here, just go ahead and reach out to them again, use their support function, but this is where you can get the most accurate information based off of what they have, right? And you can see with this uh, trading career path, the profit goal is 1750 with the end of day drawdown of 1500 and a daily, a max daily loss of 550. Now, I am kind of moving through this, you know, really slowly on purpose because of this max daily loss, right? I have sort of an aggressive entry method and when things are working correctly and I'm on my game, I can actually be more aggressive, but I want to, you know, it's important to make sure that you're also in accounting for the times when you're not necessarily on your game or maybe that, you know, the market is giving you something that you haven't experienced before, right? So. I baked all of that into the method that I'm trading for this account now. And um, it's taken me a while to pass this one just because of that right there, the max daily loss, right? Now, with all of that being said, I'm not mad at that at all because it's made me so much more of a better trader. These max drawdowns, I used to have a problem with them in these funded accounts, not just for earn a trade, but with all the ones that I've tried. You know, I used to have a, a problem with the drawdowns, but in hindsight, these drawdowns have made me so much more of a better trader. So, you know, just be patient and then let it make you better, right? So, and then you can see the approved times, which is really anytime the market is open, but yeah, they don't really have a whole lot of, you know, strict rules is another thing that I like about them, but you can click on that and you can see the approved times there. And then also you have the progression ladder right here. And with this progression ladder, this will show you the whole process of if you do the trader career path the contract sizes you can take per level, if you will. And you know, all of the information as you progress through the trader career path on your way to the $200,000 live account, right? So one thing that I will, one additional thing that I will point out, and there's, if this information is also on the help page, is that this, these contract sizes over here, this is for the E-minis, right? So if you're trading the micro version of the E-minis, let's say if you're trading I trade NASDAQ, the NASDAQ um, futures, but I trade the micro versions of the NASDAQ futures, right? So for the micros, it's going to be 10 times whatever this is. So I can only have 20 micro contracts open at one time. If I was trading the E-minis, I can only have two contracts open at one time, right? So I just wanted to highlight that part of it. So let's head back to the dashboard. And if you ever get to a point to where you need to reset, you just click this reset evaluation right there. And if you have a discount code, you put the discount code in there and then you can just purchase your reset right there. You can see the reset is hundred dollars. All right. So let me go ahead and cancel that. So I don't mess around and start myself over for no reason. I've have had to use it and you know, the process only takes a couple hours and you'll be reset and good to go for the most part. Okay. Also, one thing that I will mention here, since I'm talking about the time frames that it takes to get things done, 
is that you some, you just got to understand that these are people on the other side and you know <laughs> this is a business sometimes the business gets overloaded with dealing with customers and trying to you know help everybody with their issues so sometimes things can take a little bit longer than you would like it to but you know again this is an environment where patience is key so if you have a hard time being patient and things outside of trading you're going to have a hard time being patient with your trading as well right normally the process for anything to get done if you ever need help or you need you're trying to get something processed with earn to trade it's within the same business day but it could take longer and that's perfectly fine it's not a you know a negative thing against them or any of these other funded accounts or any of these other programs just be patient you know <laughs> it goes a long way i promise you now you also have the calendar here which i don't use that often but this is for like for market news or you know if you need to know what's going on in the markets you got the economic calendar there so you can get more information if there's any holidays or whatever you'll see all that right here then you have your settings to where you can change things up one thing that you will need to do is you will need to determine which data that you want to use once you get your account set up and you're in your dashboard the first thing you'll want to do is you want to go to settings and you'll go down here to the data tab and you'll select which exchange that you want to trade on and then you'll just click submit then you'll be good to go right the other thing that you'll need to do is you need to activate your ninja trader license you will just click over here on this ninja trader tab and you will make sure that you check all these boxes right here that you agree make sure you read everything right just check them all out and then you'll click request code and you'll get your license and you'll be good to go there all right and last but not least you do have your help function down here that takes you back to that help page right all right so that does it for the walkthrough now what i'm going to talk about for the rest of this video is my personal experience and i'm also going to get into some key things that i think will be very helpful based off of my personal experience with earn the trade right so i'm currently trading the trader career path right now but before I did the Trader Career Path, I did the Gauntlet Mini. So I used the Gauntlet Mini to improve my strategy and it helped a lot. And that's why I picked this $100,000 account. So I'm not gonna go into all the details about that because I don't wanna make this video too long. I wanna stick to what we're here to talk about, which is earn a trade. But that's what I used the Gauntlet Mini for. I didn't pass it. There was some issues that I had with the account and you know I kind of stopped trading for a while got that resolved and I, that, that's when I decided to go with the trader career path instead right now in my personal opinion paper trading is not the same as trading with risking your own money and paper trading does have its you know its benefits you know there, especially when you're just starting I would highly recommend you start with paper trading but once you're actually like think you're ready to start making money there could be some things that you need to work on to improve your strategy and once you like understand the basics of trading from that point, you got the psychological, you know, aspect of trading that you got to overcome. In my personal opinion, this is where funded trading, these funded trading programs are super beneficial because you can actually, you are actually risking some of your own money, which is the, the monthly subscriptions or the subscription fees for each of these accounts. And if you don't pass, then you do lose that money. But if you do pass, yeah, technically you lock, you, you, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes right now. I don't have the camera on, you can't see me, but you're kind of, you, you lost that money, but you earn the benefit of being able to earn that money back that you, you know, pay for your monthly subscription with other people's money, right? With earn the trades money, right? So, you know, that's what I use the gauntlet mini for. And I think that's a, a, a good benefit for these funded accounts, right? That's just a quick breakdown of the two programs that I have experience with. And another thing that I want to mention here is they do have a, the community aspect of earn a trade right so in terms of their community they have the discord you know they have a discord server and you know once you have an account you can go ahead and join their server so once you're in there so in their discord they have a very active community over here in their discord server and you know they have a lot of different resources over here as well this is another place that you can get notified about any announcements that they're putting out or any new blog posts or any new videos that they put out they're very active here you can also get support in their discord server and you see they got all kind of stuff over here so if you have an account with earn a trade i would highly recommend you going over here to their server their discord server and joining their server so you can get access to all the you know goodness that is provided here in their server 
I need to count on how many times I said server right there. All right, so just put that in the comment section for how many times I said server right there. All right, so anyway, that's their Discord. And they also have, you know, they're also available on different social media platforms you can see that you can see right here, Facebook, Twitter, of course, YouTube, LinkedIn, and, you know, Instagram, all the social medias. They got all the social medias, all right? And plenty of ways, they even got WhatsApp. I didn't even know that, but that's, <laughs> they got it. So plenty of ways for you to interact with their community and reach out to them and all kind of good stuff. All right, so one other thing that I'm sure that you're curious about is their withdrawal policy or how you can make withdrawals once you're, once you pass your eval and you have your live or your live SIM accounts is how you can withdraw whatever profits that you make and you know what their policy is on the withdrawal. So I will leave this link to this page right here in the description below, but you can see they have this, all the details about making withdrawals right here. Again, just click on that link, read through it, make sure you understand it. I would highly recommend that you make sure you understand this before you even open up an account, right? The next thing that I want to talk about is the trading platforms that you can use. Now, the primary trading platform is going to be NinjaTrader. And you're going to, of course, you're going to be using Rhythmic Data. They recommend using NinjaTrader. But you can really, any platform that's compatible with Rhythmic Data, you can use to trade your earned trade accounts in. Now, here's where the catch comes in. If you already have other accounts with other, you know, if you're trying to trade in multiple funded accounts, with let's just say if you're just using earn to trade and you want to have multiple accounts with earn to trade you should be able to log into all of those accounts in one platform right so of course the platform that i like to use is sierra chart and if i'm only trading with earn to trade once i log into the rhythmic you know account that earn to trade gives me whatever account that i have open with earn to trade i should be able to pull through sierra chart and I have a video of how to connect to Rhythmic and Sierra chart. So if you want more details about that, I'll link that video somewhere in here. I'll probably put a card up there somewhere. So if you're just trading multiple funded accounts at once, you're just fine with, you know, whatever platform or whatever trading platform of your choice, you will get one Rhythmic login and then whatever accounts that you have tied to that Rhythmic login, then you should be able to, you know, log into those accounts on that one platform. Now where it gets a little confusing or a little messy is if you're, you know, if you have multiple funded accounts with multiple companies, right? So, which is the case that I have. All right. So let's say I'm trading with earn to trade and I have another funded account with another company. So what I would do if, you know, the simplest method would be to have one of those in Sierra chart and the other one with Ninja trader. And then I can just use whatever system I want to use to place those trades. Now, another thing that you can do, let me go ahead and close Ninja Trader back down. All right, so to make sure that I'm really getting my point across clearly, let me just go off of what I had to do. So I like to trade in Sierra chart and I want to trade in Sierra chart as much as possible just because it has the layout that I like, you know? So what I had to do is what I had to use a virtual machine, right? And all I did was I went on the internets and I installed VirtualBox, right? So I installed VirtualBox so I can have a VM. And what I did with here is I just went out on the internet and I grabbed a copy of Windows 10. I set up a VM machine with a Windows 10. And then I installed Sierra Chart only. I only put Sierra Chart on this virtual machine. And I didn't need to purchase an, another license for Windows 10. I, I could just, so it's like I'm using the unauthenticated mode of Windows 10. Let me go ahead and open this up so we can see it. So after I'm done trading, I just pause this so it's not because this is a virtual machine is going to take up, you know, resources on your computer. So just so I'm not always taking up those resources, I pause it when I'm not trading, right? So I have this set up right here. And let's say if we, you can see right here, it's telling me to activate Windows. I don't even have to do that in order to get done what I'm trying to do. And I've been using this method for a while. And I use a trade copying system to where I'm basically using the shortcuts and a stream deck with a software called Mergy in order to simulate a trade copier, so to speak. Now, I'm not going to go into details about all of these things. So if, if you want me to talk about setting up Sierra Chart or any other trading platform in a virtual machine, if you want me to go into detail about that, just go ahead and leave that in the comment section. If you want me to break down how I do my trade copier and not using one of these trade copy systems, I have my, I made, I pretty much made my own trade copier. 
if you want me to talk about that go ahead and leave that in the comment section as well right so i'm not going to hold up this video talking about that here but that's just to show you what i do i'm actually trading four funded accounts with three different companies right now so i use sierra chart that's my primary out of all the other trading platforms i got the sierra chart within this vm right here and i'm also using multi charts right so that's my setup that's how i'm trading in multiple funded accounts with multiple companies all right so also if you're trading with multiple funded accounts at one time whether that's with the same company or not you can also use a trade copier apex investing they have a ninja trader 8 trade copier that you can use that's pretty popular i have heard good things about their trade copier another option that i just heard about not too long ago is this local trade copier right here and then you have replicanto this is another one that i did some research and i found this one so like i said you can if you're looking for a trade copier this is the one i've heard the most about apex's um, trade copier so this one doesn't work with sierra chart so apex investing's trade copier if you want to use theirs you can't use it with sierra chart it only works with ninja trader 8. the reason why this one is was brought up is because this one does work with sierra chart so this gives you like to trade with Sierra chart. This gives you an, op an option to have a trade copier with Sierra chart. And then also Replicanto. It also works with Sierra chart. Just read through here. It's been a while since I used this, but it was like, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it, it didn't work for what I needed for how it works with Sierra chart. Right. Let me see. And if, as I'm reading through here, it looks like it maybe doesn't work with Sierra chart anymore. I'm only seeing Ninja Trader 8. So anyway, your read through these make sure it works for the trading platforms that you're trying to trade with i'm sure there's a lot of options you know based off of the different trading platforms that you can trade with right or that you know so just do the research and you know google that and you'll be able to find a trade copier that works for you or you can do what i decided to do and make my own trade copier that's universal because it's not based off of a particular trading system or trading platform right so like I said, if you want more information about that, just leave that in the comment section below and I'll talk about that. So if you have any more questions, just go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. You can reach out to me in the discord and all of that good stuff. Now, what I, the last thing I want to mention is, as you can see, I'm still going through the evaluation for the trader career path. I haven't actually passed one of the evals yet. So there will be a follow-up once I do pass this, this eval here. There will be a follow-up to this video of me passing and going through that experience. And so just be on the lookout for that. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and stop dragging this already long video out even longer than it has to be. Hope you have a good one. Trade it easy.